this is video number 543 from a canoe to a speedboat God gives us motivation to do the things we have to part to the second upgrade I received from a canoe to a speedboat was my car by washing my car I stay in the bushveld in a beautiful nature reserve unfortunately I do not have a garage so my car is daily parked underneath a tree my blue car looks like the ideal latrine for Luris, Woodpickers and Jan Friedrichs. Like I said, I would, I would much rather study Jeremiah or Isaiah before I wash my car. I'm really fuzzy, I do not like driving too, so the amount of times I have taken my car in for a car wash is less than the rainfall in Saucy's flight. But my car was really dirty last week, so I would park my car to the first furthest corner when going for a meeting, justifying this action that the walk is good for my health. This week I had a meeting to pick up one of my team members to do a site visit at a new guest house. I decided now I had to wash my car. There is no excuse for transporting a fellow princess in a dirty chariot. I was my, washed my car with so much love because it was an act of love. The meeting was cancelled, but at least my car was clean. Is it not amazing on what mysterious ways God works? He is also too concerned about the small little things in our life. After I washed my car, I prayed for His holy anointing on my car that the car is transformed from a latrine station to holy chariot station status. This prayer is still a work in progress, but I'm hopeful. I've always wondered who kept the Holy of Holies in the tabernacle clean, as only one person was allowed to enter it once a year, the high priest, and I'm sure he did not enter it with a broom in the hand and handy andy in the other hand. So I have to have prayed for the spring cleaning angels to assist me with keeping my house and my car clean. Once again, it is a prayer in progress. I had a patient this week who has a curious, serious case of dental phobia, but she started feeling a small little level of discomfort, bordering on the toothache on one of her molars. She was invited with her mother-in-law for an all-expenses-paid boat cruise to the Portuguese islands. She decided that the last thing she needed on this much-anticipated major blessing was for it to be ruined with toothache. So she put on a good big gold panties and came to see our dentist. This is a classic example of God giving us the big golden carrot in order for us to face our fears, to be victorious. Even if God has to reward us with an MEC cruise to the Portuguese island, islands, maybe you too have something that you are dreading to do. Pray for this special kind of blessing the rewarding kind of motivation and inspiration. This reminds me of something Paul wrote to the bad at that stage, Corinthian church. They went a little bit rebel mode. Ye Paul heard about the rebel journey and reprobated them with two options. Which do you want? Should I come with you to you with a big stick to punish you or with love and a gentle spirit? 1 Corinthians 4 verse 21 this is what God daily says to us. Do you want the punishment or do you want the love and the gentle spirit? The MEC boat cruise kind of reward. I hope and we pray we both choose the second option. May God too assist you with motivation for the lowly motivated to do's in your life. 